Hey, 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 Steeler Nation. Thanks for joining me. My name is Jake Wade. I am coming to you from Southwest Michigan. Cold night here, like uh, in the 30s, but it's still cold. And uh, I'm not into the resolutions and resolves and things like that. Um, but uh, I need to resolve. Uh, it's Ravens Week. I need to resolve to not let things get on top of me. I've already done this podcast. I mean, it was beautiful, the things I said, and the energy and the entertainment value of it all was... It was actually... Um, what do they call that? Uh, it's funded. <laughs> so I guess that's enough said. And I do my whole podcast, and I have all this excitement and all this... Things. Not anxiety, but I mean, I want to do a good job, you know. And I do the whole thing, and the GD mic don't work. <laughs> and I muted it and talk on it. And I get on laugh. Hey, folks, welcome back to the Steal Away Show. I know there's been a lot of great things to see so far, so I would press like. Checking the microphone tonight. You know, uh, this is gonna be Mason's game. He's gonna be starting this game and uh, Mike Tomlin came out and said it. He said, hey, got the hot hand, basically, you know. There was this whole controversy, controversy, controversy with Kenny Pickett about the whole uh, starting and not starting uh, with the dressing and refusal and you know, I, it didn't that make much sense to me. So we're not going to go there. It's Ravens week. Okay, but we're not going to go into that just yet. But um, it is, and I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer, but it's getting close to the end of the season. You know, even if uh, we make playoffs and, Say we win one, win two, go to the championship. I would love to go to the AFC championship. That would be wonderful, you know. Um, whatever it is, we as Steeler Nation have to realize that we are coming to the end of our season. Very close, you know. Uh, one of the things... I remember when I first started this podcast, I wanted to make sure that people that were like the whole mediocre mic or the mediocre seasons or mediocre teams or me mediocre, mediocre, you know, I didn't want to have anything of that being part of this podcast. I will tell those fans that do watch the show. I mean, we all have different views. Um, that I do give a little bit of something as far as some a feeling that they have that I have. And that is, I'm so tired of um, <laughs> wanting the Tennessee Titans to win again. Some scrub-ass team to be the team that basically is as good as what we think we are. You know, and uh, so we're asking Tennessee to win again, you know, and uh, we want Miami to win so we can play them, <laughs> you know, so I get their whatever it is. Uh, I do want to tip my hat a little bit. I want to talk a little bit about the last game with the tight ends and how well they did. I don't know if you. Uh, I'll try to find it and put in a link. You know, I'll do the best I can. Uh, but there's a short about, like, uh, Najee. This banner, banter. How do you like me now? I say words like banter. The banter between Pat and uh, Najee, you know, and the friendship they have. And uh, it's in the offseason, like, there's this short of uh, Najee saying something like, 
Oh, I'm Pat Framer. If I could do anything. Well, word around the campfire is during that game, the entire time Pat was going to Najee during the game going, do you see that block I did? Do you see that block? Hey, do you see that block? You know, and that's like a camaraderie that I really appreciate. You know, that's that stealer way that I want to see, you know. There was a little part of me that had, um, I guess you'd say like a downer thought, not depression, but the what could have been, you know, I look back and wondered, you know, like what would it have transpired into if the Steelers as a whole would have had more confidence in Mason uh, and without signing Mitch? You know, I'm not saying give Mason Mitch money back then, you know, but it's it's too bad. It's, we can all look back on things and say, what a, you know, and I had to get out of that. And if you get one thing out of this podcast, um, it's kind of like keeping one foot in the past. If you keep one foot in the past, then you will the what ifs, you know, and you keep another future, uh, another foot in the future saying, um, well, I'll be happy then, or we'll be happy when Dan Moore is replaced, or we'll be happy when we have a all-star inside linebacker, you know. You're just, you got one foot in the past, one foot in the future, and you're just pooping, pu pooping on today. If you notice how good I've been in the middle of the camera, that was terrible. So I've just lined up my wall. That's how close it is, so it's very imposing. So I stay in the middle. My microphone is still working. And uh, that whole deal with you know, curious, fly on the wall kind of things. Like, where was Canada's influence, if he had any, like on the signing of Mitch, or maybe the lack of enthusiasm or respect for Mason's play? You know, how heavy was Canada's hand uh -uh, during all that? It's kind of curious to me. Like I said, it's a, it's a poopy situation. We need the Bills to lose. We need, uh, we need t Tennessee to win. But this is Ravens week, and I will come up with some more things for you. Um, one of the things, uh, you know, I don't follow the NFC very much. I don't like the NFC. I don't care about the NFC. All the NFC teams are crap. You know, I don't like any of them. Go Lions! But, um, I don't know anything about their stories, anything about their anything, right? I do know that there's a lot of men out there, and women, that um, appreciate the way that Geno Smith has an attitude towards life, his career, patience, very many things that are uh, very many things that are. This is professional journalism being reported to you, Steeler Nation. Hey, consider liking this video or subscribing. Uh, he's older than Mason by a couple or maybe three years. And the tenacity that he's had with his career. And look where he's at. Now, we played very well against Seattle, but Gino, I never, I haven't even watched him all year. To be honest with you, I saw some things about him. People were praising him because maybe he got the starting position, like locked down for this year. That was the last thing I heard. I don't know anything about him, okay? But I know that there's a lot of people that like him, and I'm wondering, 
Could Mason be like somebody like a Geno Smith? I'm not talking about media endorsement. Just, you never know. You never know. It's going to be a fun off season. The one, okay, I said off season. Now I've been trying my hardest not to talk about anything in the future as far as draft. But I am getting a little bit excited. One more thing happened, and this is all I'm going to say. In my last podcast, if you watched the New Year's Eve podcast, uh, I was thrilled over Broderick, especially his lip service that he gave to that team the entire time. Do you notice how fancy my hands get when I get excited about Broderick? That's what I want to see. You know what I mean? The thing I heard about this draft class is that it is deep in the tackle. Now, I haven't seen if it's left or right. We're going to get into that in the offseason. But I'm just saying it would be really rad to go in heavy again on a tackle for the Steelers. If you can get somebody, and I am a fan of Dan. I am. I am, and I appreciate the work he has done for the environment that he has been put in. But if we could get another mouth like Broderick, quiet until it comes time, you know? I cannot wait to see what Omar Khan does next offseason. I can't wait to see the draft. It all the whole setup. It's very exciting. And that's part of that whole, it's coming to an end. The last thing I wanted to do, it has nothing to do with the Steelers. It's just a little shout out. Okay, I will say this one thing. Have, uh, please consider liking the video. Um, have you noticed how many of the teams that we lost to this year, as soon as we lost to them, started going like this with their play, starting with like Texans, bam, you know, New England, bam, not last week, but the week before they had a surprising win on the ride. I'm like, wow pretty cool you know um uh, seattle we beat seattle and then the they all start talking about the quarterback from seattle because all the games you know and uh uh there's another one too i can't think of it uh but there's been teams where they you know oh the best one was green bay you know, so I started looking back at some of these games that we won, like, hey, these were teams that were like, ooh, just getting their shit together, you know? And uh, so I appreciate some of the wins a little bit more this year. Um, but last thing I wanted to go on was, uh, it has nothing to do with Steelers, but if you notice Kyler Murray, the quarterback from the Arizona Cardinals, when he walked in to the Philadelphia Eagles, it, I remember back in the day, the Eagles were the only stadium that had a jail. Eagles were the only stadium that had like a in jail. They were the first ones, you know what I mean? He walked into that stadium wearing a Pittsburgh Steeler. I think his name is Crosby. I'm not, please don't, you know. I think, I, and I also believe he's a goalie. I don't watch, I don't know anything about hockey. I don't know anything about hockey, okay? But uh, talk about banging. Folks, keep on banging. We got Ravens week. I'm gonna keep on trying to put things out there because we don't know how long we have, you know what I mean? We need Miami to win. We need Bills to lose. You know what I mean? We need the Jags to lose. It's just, if we get there, we get there. If we don't, we don't. You know, my, I don't like the word deserve. I, I, I do not like it. You know, if you want to know what fair is, go to, a, a, there's a place in uh, Pomona, California. There's a fair there, you know. Um, but, if we get in, we get in. That makes it right. So, folks, have a great night. Have a great day. 
keep on trucking through this week and we will make it to the weekend come on saturday it is ravens week thanks for joining me and i appreciate your time